one intersection, two crashes, three killed. A tragic month on the road just north of Grand Rapids is fueling a push for new safety measures. On May 24th, DNR Conservation Officer Sarah Grell died on, in the line of duty when her car was hit by a semi. Two weeks later, paramedic Troy Betcher and 17-year-old Joseph Latimer died en route to the hospital when their ambulance collided with a dump truck. Both crashes happened on County Roads 57 and 336, which is just north of Grand Rapids. So during today's special session in St. Paul, a Northland senator proposed an amendment to find a fix for that deadly intersection. KBJR6's Kendall Drebo explains what's in the amendment and how it could save lives. Making a deadly Itasca County intersection safer. That was the goal of an amendment Senator Justin Icorn of Grand Rapids proposed Tuesday. We don't want a situation like this to happen ever again uh, where a community is grieving and doesn't finish grieving before they have to grieve again over the loss of another uh, local hero. Icorn withdrew the amendment since a group of MnDOT traffic safety experts already met last week at the intersection and discussed solutions to make it safer. MnDOT is starting to have some conversations with the county uh, and they have agreed to do some things that they can do immediately. Those things include adding flashing lights to the top of stop signs and rumble strips on the road. Small steps working toward a safer solution. I want MnDOT and the district one to take a very, very hard look at this intersection and figure out how to make it safer for everybody that comes through there every single day. Though this amendment has been withdrawn, lawmakers promise to keep a close eye on MnDOT's progress. Senator Thomasoni and I will be continuing to watch as this progresses and as MnDOT and the counties work together. If we don't see enough progress, we will certainly be back next year with some legislation. Remembering the lives lost and ensuring it doesn't happen again. Minda declined an interview but said Itasca County will use the group's recommendations in determining next steps. The department says people can expect changes to the intersection in the future.